Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. So today, what we got? We got the Honda Civic FF03 chassis from Tamiya. And this is, again, this is the Honda Civic. This is a Castrol Honda Civic VTI. So this thing, which is nice about it, is you do get, you get stickers with it, okay? <laughs> you get your sticker sheet to uh, mask off your windows on the inside of it. So when you go to paint on the inside, you don't paint your window, so that's nice. Then you just peel this plastic film off of that when you're ready to uh, finish the project, more or less. So we're gonna go ahead, I'll show you the other stickers. So this is the OEM, OEM style stickers here, which I'm probably gonna opt for because I like that more or less, not the race look, but the OEM, and then uh, it's kinda like a sleeper, right? So we'll go with that. So we don't want to make it look all racy and then it, but um, yeah, I didn't really care for these stickers, all that stuff that's on there. It's a lot of cutting out, and I'm just not, don't want all those stickers on the car. So uh, I know some of you guys are like, oh man, you should have made it look like the box art. Oh, you suck. So anyway, that's that. That's what I like. So if you want one of these, go ahead. I'll put a link down in the description below. You can make it the way you want to. But that's what I want to do. I want to go ahead and do a different color on this thing. Anyhow, I'll leave it, leave that for the next one when I go ahead and decide what colors I'm gonna get. But let's go ahead and get this body off there and did I mention the bumper? Bumper doesn't really fit in here. It's really close up. So this foam insert that goes in here doesn't really fit. I'm sure if you modified it and everything like that, it'd work, but it eh, doesn't really work so great. So yeah, let's take a spin of this thing. You kind of look at it from different angles. But I know it's hard to see it, so I really don't want to do too much on the outside because it's like, well, I can't really see it because it's still kind of clear. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get that off of there. So let's start with the front of this vehicle. So what do we got in here? We got a hobby wing system that's in it. And just to kind of let you guys know again too, if I didn't mention it, uh, you only get a brushed motor in the kit. So you're still gonna, gonna need to buy electronic speed controller, receiver, servo for your steering. You need a radio for it as well. So I've already chosen the Red Cat radio because I had one of them. So there's our Red Cat receiver. And it's just a Kyosho servo that's in here. And again, just the Hobbywing system, capable of 4S on the electronic speed controller. And it's only capable of 3S. So to your discretion, as far as if you wanna push this thing on 4S, but that's what the manufacturer says, only 3S. Uh, again, like as far as the pinion gear that's in here, it's just a 25 tooth pinion gear because it's got a five millimeter bore. And I didn't have a 30 to kind of match what the stock one came with. I think it's like a 30 tooth pinion gear that came with it. So, yep, and I, you know, you're gonna need some CA glue. I um, use some Team Associated, it's pretty thin stuff, but it goes around the bead really quick. So I like it, so that's what I opted for. I got a little bit on <laughs> the tire, but that'll wear off when I run it the first time anyhow, or soon enough. Um, so yeah, this thing's all full ball bearings too, so that's very nice. So, you know, normally, normally these kits you know, they come with bushings and whatever, but this one didn't. It even has oil filled shocks on it. So, all ball bearings, even in the transmission, you know, all your wheels. The only thing that doesn't come with, which doesn't matter, is just uh, these parts here. I don't know what they're called, but uh, like that cantilever, whatever system. But um, it's got bushings in it. So, you know, the metal <coughs> bushings. So, that's that. And uh, yeah, we got our little on and off switch that's there. And one thing, let me flip this thing on its back. So I do like this. This is what holds the servo in. It's got this little adapter that sticks out further. Yeah, what happened to the other side where I can hold my electronic servo or my electronic speed controller in here? Like, to me, why didn't you just do that? Should have had one of these little extension plates, whatever, so I could put in, you know, I don't know, my electronic speed controller. Because there's really no real place i mean look at the edge of this thing it's like there's hardly no space at all now it's a decent size electronic speed controller but it's still a max 10. max 10 means it's for 10th scale vehicles and that's what this is a max 10. so um easy run so yeah it did, it's you know it is what it is on that part i was trying to find other places make a little adapter plate so it could the electronic speed controller would sit up higher but anyway that's that uh, speaking of right around this area too, is I went ahead and went with a Velcro strap just because they have a plastic strap that goes across here and it really limits you to what batteries you can choose. So I opted just to go ahead and use a Dremel and just made a little slit, a little extra slit. There's already like a little slit in there. So there's a channel so you can run your cable from one side of the chassis to the other. And that way um, 
you know, the battery wouldn't rub on it. So they give you a little aluminum foil that you stick on, on this little railway, we'll call it, which just lifted off of there, which is not cool. So that didn't really stick very well. <laughs> so that's that, yeah. Good piece of sticky stuff. All right, Th that's pretty much that on that one. And uh, <laughs> this antenna, this antenna would normally be over on this side. And again, I just did it my own way, which I normally do is this since this usually goes over here and it mounts onto the chassis well i didn't put the receiver over there so went ahead and just uh, glued it to whatever this was supposed to have the receiver kind of tucked in here or whatever i was like no it's going to put it on top of the servo so i just glued this and then i just ran that i just used a little ca glue this because this piece is different is separate from this kind of half um, convex concave however you want to look at it a uh, little piece so yeah, that's what I did, and uh, it all was, it's all good. So I like it. Anyway, I <laughs> appreciate you guys watching. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this build. Anyhow, because it is front wheel drive, it's kind of interesting nonetheless. And But it's cool to kind of build these anyway, so I do like it, and uh, let me know. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this body back on there. But I, I think it's cool, I like it. It's front wheel drive, definitely unique in a way. And uh, yeah, catch you on the next video. I'll do a one, I'll show you guys like the complete finished with a running video of it here shortly once I get it painted. But yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends. We'll catch you on the next video real soon. You guys take care. Thank you again for watching. Peace.